this training, you'll be introduced to Zendesk Integrated Voice Software and how you can use it to speak directly to your customers. My name is Craig and I'm an instructional designer here at Zendesk. I've been working closely with the product team and other experts to create this training which I'll walk you through today. So, how will Zendesk Integrated Voice Software help you meet your needs? Phone conversation is still a powerful way to solve complex issues and so using voice leads to faster resolution times. There may be cases where your other channels can't easily help your customers and so you want to make sure they can always get in touch, even without a computer or any other smart device. The use of voice also allows your agents to provide a more personalised support to your customers. The tools available enable your team to quickly review previous correspondence, add relevant notes and forward calls to colleagues. Voice works in sync with other Zendesk channels and so your agent is able to see the complete picture of the customer's journey. We know from industry research that many customers still prefer to talk to an individual. Including this option along with faster resolution times and personalised support will increase satisfaction as well as efficiency. Recent industry research has revealed some interesting data in regards to integrated voice software. Messaging channels of communication saw the biggest increase in use during the changing landscapes of 2020, which saw us entering a more conversational world. However, during this period, call and text messaging tickets combined saw an increase of 53%. Furthermore, of the companies that added a new channel in 2020, 31% of these chose to add voice to help their customers. So, even in the modern and changing world, phone conversation is still a popular and growing method of communication. Let's quickly review some of the top roles starting with user types. Now, there are two types of users in Zendesk products, end users and staff members. With Zendesk Talk, we have the end user or your customers who talk or text with people on your team. And we have staff members, these are the people on your team with various roles in the product. Let's look at these in more detail now. The three staff roles in Talk are Agent, Team Lead and Admin. An admin can manage all Talk settings found in Zendesk support under Channels and Talk, but cannot make or receive calls. A Team Lead can manage all settings as well as provide call support. A Talk agent can make or receive calls only. The agent will be the role you'll typically give. So, how does an agent use Zendesk Talk? Here we can see a timeline of a call or text received by an agent. It should be noted that an agent must be set to online to receive calls. The conversation starts when the customer calls. A ticket is then automatically created in support. The customer may then ask a question to which the agent will respond. Hopefully, the agent will be able to find the solution to the question. And then finally, the agent can hang up. No need for an agent to be online when a customer sends a text. It will be automatically brought in as a ticket. This asynchronous conversation will then continue with the customer able to receive any replies on their mobile phone. There is a variation on this flow in that customers can request a callback this is an option available to those who don't want to wait on hold. All they need to do is press 2 at any stage and they will receive a call from the first available agent. We highlighted in the call timeline that an agent must have set their status to online to receive calls. Your agents are able to set their own availability to one of three states. Online means that the agent is available to take calls. Talk can also route calls to the agent. If the agent doesn't answer, talk waits for 30 seconds, then routes the call to the next online agent. Transfers only means that the agent is available to take transfers only. An agent in the transfers only state is not available to take calls from the current queue. While calls cannot be routed to an agent in the transfers only state, another agent can transfer calls to them. Agents in the transfer only state can make outbound calls. 
Additionally, this state can only be used for agent-to-agent -agent transfers and not group transfers. Away means that the agent is currently not available to take calls. For example, they could be on a break. Talk will not route calls to that agent, but will place them in the queue for an agent who is available to answer. Agents can still make outgoing calls while they're in the away state. Offline means that the agent is offline and Talk will not route calls to that agent. Talk will only automatically set agents to the offline state when a call fails due to a network issue. In a scenario where all agents are in the offline state, incoming calls will be routed to voicemail. In a scenario where all agents are in the away state, incoming calls will continue to be queued. Let's see how this works in Zendesk when an online agent answers a call. This agent is currently working in the agent workspace, which enables agents to work seamlessly across Zendesk channels, all within a single ticket interface. This agent has marked himself as online and is available to take calls. As an admin, you can choose to route calls to the most relevant groups. For this example, I'm going to first let you listen to what the caller hears when they call this support number. You will then see and hear what the agent experiences with this incoming call. Please hold while we find an available support agent to assist you. Your call may be recorded for monitoring purposes. If you would like to leave a voicemail, you may dial 1 at any time. If you would like to request a callback, dial 2. If you'd prefer that this call not be recorded, dial 3. In this instance, we can see that there is an incoming call from Bakewell Marketing. The call console automatically appears in the upper right corner of the agent workspace when an agent is available to take incoming calls. It displays relevant information to agent which they can choose to answer or decline. The agent answers the call and a new ticket is automatically created. The agent can now work in this environment for the duration of the conversation. As we can see, this customer already has a user profile created with their details. Below that, there is the customer context panel that provides past interactions and information about the customer which the agent can quickly review. These interactions could be from calls, voicemails, chats, messages and emails. The agent can add their own public or private notes as the call develops. Here the agent is writing an internal note mentioning that the customer has a question about their membership. The agent can also fill in some required ticket fields as the call is ongoing. Here they are filling the about field and selecting billing and also the ticket type field, highlighting that as a question with a low priority. They also have various call controls. They allow agents to navigate the conversation and assist customers using mute, hold, transfer, as well as pause if recording is enabled. The agent can mute their microphone if they need to sneeze. They could put the call on hold if they need to quickly confer or check information. They could transfer the call to a more relevant department and they can pause call recording if it is enabled if there are any privacy concerns. In this instance, the agent is able to solve the customer request, so there is no need to transfer the call. The issue has been resolved and so the agent hangs up the call. The voicemail recording is automatically added to the ticket. The agent is now in wrap-up mode, where there is time to complete finishing the ticket details. Here they are typing a public reply to the caller to confirm the issue has been resolved. Once finished, the agent can go to the call console and indicate that they are available again to take incoming calls. In the meantime, they can return to what they were doing before receiving the call. And that's how a call from a customer becomes a ticket in Zendesk that an agent can solve with efficiency.
So, in summary, deliver personalized solutions to complex issues with voice, and increase team productivity and efficiency using voice in the agent workspace.